everyone. Welcome to week four of Bridge Kids North Castle. I want to tell you guys something. I am so glad that you're all my friends. Well, I'm glad we are all friends too. But what made you say that? I think it may have something to do with Ollie's Bible adventure today. You're right, Sparky. Ollie is going to teach us about friends. Well, yes, Jesus loves friends, and today we are going to learn an incredible story about some friends. Oh, and I think you're going to love the craft, and I hope you're hungry. Hungry? I'm always hungry, and Ice Breathing Dragon works up quite an appetite. Well, good, because today you get to eat your craft. Well, then, let's get started. Welcome back to Bridge Kids North Castle. Have you ever wondered how many stars are in the sky? Or how they shine so bright? Or how many fish are in the sea? And how they got their beautiful colors? Or how every single tiny snowflake has its own unique design? We may not know all the answers to these questions, but we know who does. God created every person, animal, and tree. He knows every star in the galaxy and every grain of sand on the beach. The same God who created the universe knows every hair on my head and every dream in my heart. He is the designer of it all, and he knows us by name. He loves us. He cares for us. And to know that is to know something that is truly indescribable. such as 
aerobics or anything like that in my case. A three mile jog, simply take the included applicator, which is gonna be your hand, and serve a giant helping directly to your pits, right like this. Here you go. There, just like that. Oh, that's so disgusting. Who eats that like the popcorn? Watch and see. After lathering up the pit pop, I start going for a little job, just like this. And as you go for a little job, the pit pop will start creating popcorn. Wait, what? The harder you work out, the quicker the pop begins. Um, I'm sorry, it's this. And look, and when the temperature is just right, the magic of popcorn comes to life right before your old pits. Just watch. It's 
Very nice to see you. That was a super nice greeting. What is up with that? Greetings are important. For example, how do you think one snowman greets another snowman? Oh, no. Here we go again. Okay, I'll bite. How does one snowman greet another snowman? He says, have an ice day. Get it? <laughs> you, thought, you thought I said have a nice day, but I have an ice day. An ice day because it's cold at the North Castle. <laughs> sparky, Sparky, I get it. And you know what? I'm starting to really enjoy your jokes. You know, it is important to greet each other nicely and to be kind to your friends. Ollie was just telling me the same thing. Well, Ollie is a super smart owl because he knows that God created us to work with others. And when we do that, we make God super happy. Ollie said our Bible adventure today was about friends. It is. That makes sense since God created us to work with each other. Wow, God is so awesome. Let's follow Ollie to learn more. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. This is Jesus. Oh, hey -oh. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things. He taught everyone about God's love healed people from their sickness, <laughs> and even calmed storms. The news of Jesus had spread all around and many people wanted to come and see what he was doing. No matter where Jesus went, great crowds of people would follow him. Jesus went to his own town, and news spread that he was back home. Ow! Soon, the house where he was staying was packed. So Jesus began to preach God's word to the people. Meanwhile, some men heard that Jesus was in town. So they decided to take their paralyzed friend to him to be healed for their friend wasn't able to walk. Hey, excuse me. Huh? But when they got to the house, they couldn't reach Jesus because of the crowd. Oh, well. No! So they went to the roof, uh, what? and dug a hole right above Jesus. Uh, we got this. Then they lowered their friend down into the crowd right in front of Jesus. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Jesus saw their faith, so he said, Son, your sins are forgiven. There were some Pharisees and teachers of religious law in the room, though, and they were horrified that Jesus would say such a thing. They said to themselves, Who does he think he is? Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew what they were thinking, so he asked them, Why do you question this? Is it easier to say to this man, your sins are forgiven, or stand up, pick up your mat, and walk. Uh, what? Jesus went on to say that he would prove to them that he was allowed to forgive sins. Yeah, I'm right. And so Jesus said to the paralyzed man, stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. Uh, okay. So the paralyzed man stood up and picked up his mat. Yeah, 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 yeah. The entire room was stunned as the man walked out through the crowd. All were amazed and praised God, saying, We've never seen anything like this before. And they believed that God had sent Jesus with the authority to forgive sins and the ability to help the hurting. Friends are so important, and the Bible tells us to love our neighbors. So really, we are all friends. That is really an incredible thing. 
even though I sometimes like to be by myself, and that's okay, I have to remember that God created us to work with others. Imagine what good work we can do when a whole bunch of people who love God get together and work for Him and to fulfill His purpose for us. Wow, God is really indescribable. Back at Bridge Kids, again, after North Castle, this is the greatest day of the week. I just love being at the castle and hanging out with all of our friends, even if it is virtual. There's just so much to do and so little time to do it. I will never get it all done. Um, Sparky, is everything okay? 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 No, everything is not okay. There's so much work to do and I don't have enough time to get it all done. What needs to be done? Yeah, maybe we can help you out. I doubt you want to help me. I have so much to get ready in the castle. I have to sweep the floors. I have to dust the night. Make sure all the banners are straight. Oh, it's just too much. Yeah, that's a lot. And that's just what needs to be done in this room. I still have the other rooms in the castle to do, too. Well, why don't we help you? Help me? Why in the world would you want to help me? These are all things I need to do. I'm sure you have better things to do than help me clean up. But we are friends, and that's what friends do. I don't know. This seems a little odd to me. <sighs> you know, all this noise is interrupting my nap. What's going on? Well, I have a ton to do and not enough time to do it in. So we told him we would help him out, but he doesn't believe me. Oh, like the four friends in the Bible. The who? You know, the four friends in the Bible. They had a friend that was paralyzed and wouldn't get to see Jesus being healed, but he couldn't do it all by himself. So his friends came and they helped him. They did? That's right. They carried him to the top of the house and lowered him through the roof all the way down to Jesus' feet. Those are some pretty amazing friends. Yeah, they really are. And you know what, Sparky? What? Your friends are willing to help you out just like those friends helped out their friends. Yeah, it's what friends do. That's right. Friends help each other out. No matter what, even if it interrupts my nap, you have four friends right here that want to help you too. So just tell us where to start. That's right. Oh, this is so amazing. Okay, everyone, take a room and let's get this done. Thank you all so much. Well, we have to get to work. See all of you next week. Bye. Bye. Hi, kids. All right, so it's that time again. It's time for our memory verse. So stand up with me and so we can do it all together. Lord. You are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Psalm 145.3 Hi, welcome back to Craft Time at Bridge Kids. Miss Stacy and Miss Paige, and we're today are going to make an edible craft that you can do. It's the four friends. So in your pack, you'll have a little thing of individual graham crackers and teddy grams. You'll need five teddy grams, and you can do either the whole square or in half, whichever one. Enjoy the rest. And we will make the four friends carrying the paralyzed man. So you'll take some icing, which is in your craft box, put it on a plate, stick your little teddy gram in it, and he'll hold it. Make sure when you're opening your graham crackers, open them very carefully so you don't break them.
Right. And then you'll take your little graham cracker square and put it all on the little Teddy Graham's head. And then you just take your little paralyzed Teddy Graham and lay it, and that's the four friends carrying the paralyzed man to see Jesus. There you and go. You enjoy this one.